So, uh, I'll, I'll get right into, actually first, first before we get into anything. I did, I did get my haircut. You guys, hey, I got my haircut. I did it. I went out, snip snip, felt nice. Yeah, uh, it's the 9th of March. Oh yeah, and look, my hoodie, my hoodie came in. Yeah, so it took about, it took about two weeks. I put up a video before saying how long it would it take, about two weeks to get, so. And I'm pleased, we, we got two hoodies, a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. So that's not too bad. But here's, here's the real reason I'm doing this video because and probably the majority of this whole thing here, like, let's be uh, aware that it's probably my own fault, really. So in my last video, I talked about, uh, you know, going stir crazy, which I am 100%, you know, even I went to the hospital yesterday because we don't have a doctor, a family doctor. So we're new to the area. So I was just like, I'm going to the hospital because there's something, there's something not right. Uh, I ended up, so today is, what day is it? Today's Wednesday. So Monday night, I was so like out of my head and had like all kinds of headaches and pressure. And I ended up like being sick, like throw up sick for like 45 minutes to an hour, just constantly. It was, Monday night was rough, rough. Like, and that's an understatement for rough. Like I was on the brink of like, I didn't know what to do. And it's probably the first time I've ever really felt like that. So I was, I woke up in the morning and I was like, oh my gosh, something, something's wrong after I finally got to sleep. Uh, and, uh, I ended up going to the, to the hospital to emergency to figure out what, what might be causing this. And, and then, you know, like all of us, we always like worse things. I'm like, Oh, I'm going to go out, go in for a CAT scan and there's problems. And, and so, uh, I ended up after about a two hour, well, about an hour and a half wait, ended up seeing a doctor and uh, going through my whole, like what's been going on? When did this start? And, uh, I think, and it sounds weird, it's not even something that you would even like consider, but uh, I've been having sinus issues for, oh, I would say a good month, month and a half sinus issues where it's, and it's always it started off, you know, like, like most people, you know, you get a cold and you know, your sinuses and you're stuffy on both sides and it's this side and then that side goes away and then it's this side, etc. etc. And then, and then it ended up, like my cold kind of went away, but throughout the day, here and there, I'd get stuffy. I'd always get stuffy, and it's only now that I'm looking back at it, I was like, no, I'm always stuffy on the right-hand side, which is where all my, all this pressure and everything is right now. Always on the, on the right-hand side, so it's always up here, and this is where I would be congested, congested. So, like a lot of us, you know, uh, I was living, living off of this. You guys see it? Living off of this, this, this right here. This is, and I'm not saying anything bad about this spray. So don't, don't say that. I was, this is a, the nasal spray that I was living off of. Uh, and it's 12 hour relief, drip, drixor, No drip. And it, it worked great. I don't even know if there's any, yeah, there's something here still. And it, it worked great. And like, like a lot of us, that don't get like a, a pharmaceutical drug, like something that's you have to talk to a pharmacist for. You just pick it up off the counter and you're like, okay, good. I'll just use that. Right. And spray it, spray it as you go. When I need it, I'll spray it. So, uh, I'm pretty sure somewhere on here. Now the fonts on this are really small. And of course now, uh, the little box that it came in, I don't know where that box is. So, uh, but it doesn't say anything on here on the physical, bottle that I'm aware of, right? It's just there. So I've been taking this, this here for probably a month, right? In this side for sure. Not always this side, but this side for sure. But usually both, because usually I was like, oh, I'll spray this side, but I'll spray this side too, because you know, if this clears up, then usually what happens normally is then this one starts to clog up, right? So I'll spray both because I'm smart. And then on occasion, not very often, but on occasion, you know, I'd have to do it twice throughout the day. And I'd be like, right, because I get a little stuffy. I'm like, oh, I got to get ahead of it. 
All right. Um, so when I went to the doctor and we were talking about that, she's like, yeah, you should only be using nasal spray for like, like a maximum, maximum of like a week, maximum. Really, it's probably like three, four days. I'm like, so a month, month and a half is probably not good. She's like, no, not good at all. And I didn't know this either. She, uh, when I, when I actually talked to the pharmacist, because she's, I'm not allowed to take this now. I'm not allowed to take that. That's, well, I can take it like after things hopefully clear up when needed and, and uh, pro properly. So I got a, a pharmacy, a doctor one, Tiva Mometasone. Tivo, Tivo Mometasone, that one right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That one right there. Um, and uh, I'm allowed to take this, one, two shots in each each nostril, right, um, for a week. And uh, supposedly the benefits of this is it is a like a decongestant, so it will help me, you know, with with all the problems that I'm having up here. Uh, and uh, it will possibly, and they say it should, also help like fix or remedy the damage that was caused because I was taking this so much. So that's that's also good. So first first thing for you guys, here's my medical tip because of the the doctor. Uh, don't get don't get addicted to this because if you end up having what I'm having right now. You won't, you won't like that. You'll be, you'll be wishing for a plugged up nose. That's what you'll be wishing for because plugged up nose way better than this. And the last thing, this is kind of, when I talk to the pharmacist, you know, and they're always like, do you need any information on these new drugs? Cause you've never taken them before. And I was like, sure. Yeah. Cause right now I don't want to be screwing things up because screwing things up is what got me in this predicament in the first place. So I didn't know this. She's like, when you take a nose, a nose spray, a nasal spray, she's like, a lot, a lot of people, they spray it, and then they, right? Because they're like, I got to get it all up in there, right? Which is what I do, I did. That's wrong. She's like, if you spray it or sniff it up that hard, what happens is all the spray stuff, or the majority of the spray stuff, which is why a lot of times they say 12 hours and you don't get 12 hours, ends up going, you sniff it right in through all that stuff, and it ends up going up in and down your throat. And now it's in a place that it's not supposed to be really in the first place. Uh, so they're like, spray it in there. She's like, you want to sniff in just like you're sniffing a flower. So like, that's it. You just, just enough to kind of get it in there, not all the way through you. Right. So learning at 50, I'm learning how to do nasal spray properly. So I'm hoping this now. I seem to have a major sinus infection, which could be what's causing all this. Major sinus infection. So uh, I'm on I'm on more drugs, more drugs. Yep, yeah, this one's amoxicillin trihydrate. Yeah, amoxicillin trihydrate. That's what I'm on right now, and I'm supposed to take these for seven days, three pills a day, uh, lots of rest, lots of fluid. Uh, so, uh, the reason I'm really telling you guys this is that, uh, depending on how I'm feeling, I'm not, I'm not feeling great today. I was feeling good enough to maybe come do this because I, if I'm sitting there just kind of doing nothing, it feels worse than at least doing something. And this isn't like huge energy. And like last night I slept from 6.30 PM till seven o'clock this morning. I got up for an hour took my pill, took my pill, went back to bed from eight to 10. So uh, I'm, I'm catching up on sleep or, or I'm getting sleep that I need. So now that I'm awake a little bit, uh, I figured I'd make this part of the video. But uh, I have a couple videos in queue, which should keep us going for a little bit. Uh, but if you see some days that there's nothing, uh, it's just me, I'm resting. I'm trying to trying to get rid of whatever this is. And uh, you guys will see this on Saturday. So this part of the video was filmed Wednesday. And uh, there, may, there may be some extra on top of this after this part is finished. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, 
moved a camera in front of me now. Try trying it out. Trying something. Trying something new. Uh, I gotta put these on. Put these on. Um, so it is two. I say you know two full days. Two full days later uh, since I've been taking my new medication, and I have to say I feel uh, considerably better. I I honestly had. I would never, ever, ever in my whole life have guessed that a sinus infection, a sinus infection, which I'm guessing is what this was, uh, could cause so much uh, concern and issue and um, it's just absolutely bonkers, strange brain function. Um when I went in, like I said, when I went in to talk to the doctor about this, I didn't even know how to explain it. I didn't know how to explain it to Mary. I was just like, just imagine that anything that you're focusing on has to, has to be answered. Or if you have a question, you have to answer it right now. If you can't find the answer, it's going to literally, literally drive you bananas. Like, uh, I would either have to close my eyes and like not have any kind of st- stimulant at all or uh, I'd have to look at something like just the wall or something that was just like okay this there's nothing here that's going to force me to ponder or ask a question or do something it was the strangest and most uncomfortable and most concerning uh, thing that I've probably ever, ever experienced. Because a lot of times, you know, if we get sick or we get hurt, we, we understand it. We we realize what happened. We realize what caused it. We can figure out how to fix it. Uh, none of that, none of that played into into this. Uh, and and it was it was honestly, truly, when I was at the hospital on uh, on the ninth or the eighth or whatever day it was, um, I was truly scared. I was truly scared about this, but. Like I said, I've been on my medication now uh, for two days. This is day three, I think it is, and uh, feeling so much better. I still have little, you know, things where it's like okay, but even the doctor and the pharmacist and and like all all the time, they're like, make sure you take this till it's done. Don't just stop in the middle of it, right? Just make sure you complete it take all of it to make sure everything is good so that's that's what i'm doing none of none of this i'm following following the rules boom oh yeah um so before this video finishes uh it's been two weeks since our little weight update um and honestly i didn't expect great things from me because i've been so i don't know not well feeling well uh so i i zeroed out both weeks zero zero boom boom so I didn't gain, didn't lose. Uh, so I, I'm actually not too bad with that. I'd like to have seen a loss, but so be it. Uh, Mary, though, uh, we didn't really weigh in last week. So we just, whatever we were at today, based on two weeks ago, we just split it. So she actually went down 1.8, which is great for her. So we put 0.9, 0.9 on um, both uh, and puts us at a total weight loss. I'm still at 10. She's at 6.2. I'm averaging one. She's averaging... 0.62, not quite where we want to be, uh, but um, I'm hoping that since we're coming out of uh, this wintry slump, that there's going to be a way for us to kind of get outside and get active and start doing stuff. So that's the hope. All right, guys, uh, I'm out. Um, we're going. We're going to. I think we're going. We're going to try to go to a uh, the Halifax Outdoor Show tomorrow. I think we're going to try and that should be fun. Maybe.